guys so today I decided that I am going to show you how I do my simple sock bun and another bun that I do is kind of like a sock bun but it's not as structured as a sock bun I've been getting so many requests to do this and I've been kind of putting it off just because it's so simple like I don't know I just th thought it was so simple but I definitely wanted to show you guys since I got so many requests so if you want to see how I get two easy hairstyles to wear on maybe a rainy day or a bad hair day then please keep on watching you want to start with a hair elastic and you're going to use that to put your hair in a ponytail so how I like to do it is I like to just kind of grab on my hair first and I don't like my hair to be too flat down so I kind of like to push it around like this a little bit just kind of get it loose brush any bumps that I might have under also because that does get kind of bumpy and like I said I just like to push it around a little bit and then I'm going to fasten it with my elastic and I'd say that the ponytail is about it's not too high but it's not too short you just want it to be like it depends on your hair length I donated my hair so it's a lot shorter than what it used to be next I'm going to be using my bun maker and I think this is by Conair and you're just going to put this or a sock whatever you want over your ponytail so it's just going to be in like that and you're going to put all your hair around your bun maker so if you can see it looks like a donut already or a sock bun and you're going to be taking another elastic and you're just going to fasten that around your bun maker or sock and you can see that it already makes a sock bun and I know it looks crazy right now but all you need to do now is just twist your hair around and start fastening it with bobby pins. My hair has some layers so it, I need a few more bobby pins than some might because my hair is also thick but use the amount that you need and your look will be finished. I like how this looks better than a regular sock bun I guess because I think it looks nicer with your hair wrapped around because it just I don't know, it makes it look more put together, I guess, rather than just pulling your hair down with the sock or with the bun maker. I just think that this looks nicer. So I still have a few spots where I need to put bobby pins. So I'm just going to fasten these onto the areas where there's hair that's flying around because my hair does fly around. I have a lot of baby hairs too, so it's annoying. Um... To deal with but if you have longer hair then it's gonna be a lot easier for you and you're not gonna need as many eye pins and if your th hair is thinner you're not gonna need as many either because a few will go further than just a few for me because my hair is kind of heavy so here's how my sock bun looks it is perfect I think that it turns out perfectly and it just looks you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can do whatever you want with it, you can make it higher, you can make it lower. Um, I usually leave it at about this length, like this area in my head, just because, like I said, my hair is shorter. Um, if you want it to be puffier, you can kind of pull it out, mess around with it. If you want it to be more messy, you can do whatever you want. But, like I said, this is simple, it takes a few minutes and a few bobby pins and you're good to go. Just like with the previous bun, you're going to start with your hair in a ponytail, and if you want to add hairspray, you can. I have flyaways, so I will be adding hairspray once I'm done my look, but I usually wait till the end just because, I don't know, that's how I do it. So again, you're going to be taking your bun maker, and you're going to put it over your ponytail and put the ponytail through the bun maker like this, and you're going to start the same way as you did before with pulling all of your hair over the bun maker, but this time I put my hand on the middle of the bun maker and I start to twist my hair around so I just kind of I don't have any method really I just kind of grab my hair twist it around have it all together and then it's more of a messy bun it's not as organized and like I don't know not as complete I guess as the sock bun and then you're just going to pin down the hair that you pulled around I like this bun a lot because 
it's different than the sock bun. It's a little messier and it's just, I think it's a little bit more casual actually just because it's not perfect like the sock bun tends to be. Um, but I still think it looks so cute, especially when you wear a scarf or something like that. I think it looks really, really cute. So you just want to p make sure you pin down that hair since this, these bobby pins are what's holding it together. So I like to use a little bit of extra bobby pins for this because I don't want my hair falling out and looking crazy. So I kind of just pin all the way around just to make sure that the bun is really fastened and really secure on my head because nobody wants their bun to fall out during school or work or wherever they're going. I'm just going to put a few more just to make sure that it is completely fastened down. And this bun, I just think it's it's really big um, and it's just different. And a lot of people always ask me, like, how did you do that? And I'm just like, I twisted my hair around. Like, it's nothing special. It doesn't take long. It's so easy. You don't need any skills or anything like that. You just twist your hair around, basically, and you get a really cute, easy bun. So here's how it looks when it's finished. Like I said, it's very simple. Um, twist your hair around and you have a cute bun. You can make this higher, you can make it lower. Um, I usually keep my buns around the same like on my head just because that's what works for me. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I love to wear buns, especially on days where it's raining or I have a bad hair day and I just need to throw my hair up or if I didn't have time to wash my hair and it's feeling a little greasy, I love to use buns. And I also love to wear buns when certain outfits I just think look so much better with buns. I love scarves, wearing scarves and having a bun in my hair, like a really big puffy scarf. I just think it looks so cute and it just dresses your outfit up a little bit more. And it really helps your face, I don't know, it just defines your face and pulls your hair back and lets everyone see your face better and I just think it's so pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching.